Hi friends, if you want to teach something to someone, it takes a lot of labor in teaching too. This is the heart and today we are going to explain the right atrium. Remember, as you here you can see this part is the right atrium which is being separated from the right ventricle by this coronary sulcus right here so now right atrium receives blood from whole of the body and it sends it to the right ventricle through the tricuspid orifice right superiorly if you will see the superior vena cava is present while on the lower part the inferior vena cava is present okay and uh, this is opening inside it it's draining inside it through a valve a valve is present in inferior vena cava and along with this the thebesian veins and coronary sinus is also draining into it now this part this atrium part and this is the right border it also forms the external coastal surface and the base of the heart like this this is forming the external coastal surface behind present between the sternum and the coastal region so this is the sternum right from superior vena cava to inferior vena cava okay on the atrium there is a groove is present here inside it from the outside here you can see this groove is known as the sulcus terminalis now the very important thing now come to the inner part if i give an incision like this and we will open it like this now this is the inner part and here you will see some comb like pattern so these are known as the muscular ridges they are present i have shown it with the diagram also so these muscular ridges are known as the musculi pectinati which is originating inside it from the crista terminalis now here you can see in the diagram these are the comb like pattern and this is the crista terminalis due to which outside the sulcus is forming the sulcus terminalis or the sulcus groove was present is now come to the smooth part you will see the smooth part the smooth part is the one where the superior vena cava inferior vena cava are draining and near inferior vena cava a valve is present and thebesian veins and coronary sinus are present now if we will go inside it and see the interatrial septum reason now i am opening this heart like this right so here here you can see the superior vena cava is there this is the thebesian veins opening and a you can see a depression is present in this region this depression part is known as the fossa ovalis and outside on the margin of this depression this the margins are present on this fossa this margin are known as the annulus ovalis right and uh, this is the auricle the auricle is uh, covering the arch of aorta right and uh, this is the septal cusp of the tricuspid valve and this is the coronary sinus so this is how the inner part looks like right i'm again closing it like this and you can also open it like this also so thank you for giving your valuable time and the next lecture most probably would be of right atrium thank you